What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be showcasing the JG3 Tech Organ MIDI pedal board that I recently got from Amazon. I was very excited about getting this pedal board because I needed a actual I needed a pedal board uh, to go along with the Yamaha YC61 keyboard. Reason being, I got the Yamaha YC61 key keyboard originally for organ playing and I needed something where I can actually play bass pedals. I did a couple uh, research, did some research on pricing, quality, and this one was the one that I needed as far as budget wise and just portability. Um, so without further ado, I'm not going to be too long winded. I'm going to go ahead and hop in the video. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like and also my first thoughts and also include a video after this um, of me playing along with the pedal board and the keyboard so you actually get a um, first listen at how it sounds and how it interacts with your keyboard. Alright guys, so this is the JG3 Tech MIDI pedal board. I got this off of Amazon. It ran me about $675 and I'm going to tell you why I got it. The reason why I got this board uh, was because I have the Yamaha YC61 uh, sitting here. I'm not sure if you can see that very well. Um, but I have this board and I got it pretty much for organ playing um, It actually also functions as a great piano So it does have other uh, roads and FM synths um, and FM sounds in it, but I needed a Really great organ pedal board to also co uh, Coordinate with the organ features on the keyboard and so I was looking at other keyboard uh, keyboard organ or pretty much just organ pedal boards in general uh, specifically the Hammond and the Nord organ pedal boards. The issue with those is they, to me, they're way overpriced. Um, I believe the Hammond was about $1,500 and the Nords is all the way up to $2,000. Um, and they don't even offer the same sturdiness that this does have for the price. And so I kept doing some research and I found this out on, um, I believe I was just doing more research and I found this out. Um, watched a couple YouTube videos, which were pretty okay. Um, and I were a little bit on the fence on buying, purchasing it, but I saw it on Amazon, so I said, okay, let me just grab it there. And I got it. So far, uh, one, for sound quality, the sound actually is not internal through the board. This actually works as MIDI through your keyboard. So with the pedal board, what I do is you use a 5-pin MIDI cable, connect that from the output of this to the out input of the uh, Yamaha YC61. Once that's done, what you want to do is pretty much go to um, your external keyboard settings in your keyboard on the YC61 and set that to the low manual. So then that way I have bass coming uh, from here um, as a MIDI through the YC61 and I just use the upper manual for the playing the keys. Um, he has the option for the expression pedal through here, but I just completely use the expression pedal through my keyboard. Um, as far as weight-wise, this is very lightweight. Um, I believe it's no more than maybe 15, not even maybe 20 pounds, maybe about 14, 15 pounds. Um, it's very lightweight. I can easily pick this up just like that. Um, as far as the pedals go, the pedals are fairly sturdy, um, so I don't Feel like you will have any issues as far as anything breaking uh, with use um, with that sturdiness I will say that if you are a heel toe player on pedals um, definitely wear some firm shoes or if not just I would say take your shoes off if you have soft shoes on um, and play with your foot um, because the pedals are very sturdy so it may feel like you're not pressing them at times um, that's good in a sense so you're not you know they're not flimsy um, and it's, I guess, not bad, but somewhat okay that, you know, you may feel like you're not pressing them. Uh, when it comes to the connections, I mentioned the connections on the back. So we have the power connection here, the, sorry, the, the expression pedal connection here, your MIDI connection here, and the uh, power uh, cord connection. This is, the, this is where your LCD screen would be. Um, I don't have it on right now. Uh, but again, like I said, I'm going to do a video, um, probably after this, showing uh, playing with the pedal board. Uh, you have three buttons here. Uh, so pretty much the top button is your menu di menu diving. Um, this button here is pretty much going backwards on the menu. And the red button here is your value selection. When you first turn this on, I would say make sure your bass channel is set to 1. And if you're going to use the expression pedal through here, 
make sure that it's set to active. I think by default it's set to not active. Um, but I would just recommend connecting your expression pedal to your keyboard as the foot switch option. Um, other than that, like I said, this is fairly sturdy. Um, I have no issues with it. I actually just ordered a case um, which I if it works is going to pretty much uh, be I'll be able to carry this wherever I need to go without worrying about like rain and stuff. Um, there is no case directly uh, linked with the product but um, if you need like the measurements I believe it's like 24 by 36 um, 24 by 36 and as far as width with the expansion of the uh, case you, it's about 6 inches but this is about 5 inches width so a 6 inch width uh, opening with the case is pretty good um, like I said other than that price wise great the only issue I really do have with this is that you do not have a um, placement for the expression pedal um, from all organ players you know this is very critical for us so we can have our uh, you know volume be able to control our volume with expression pedal so the only thing I could think of is pretty much do like a DIY project and just set something up where you can have that option here when you're playing um, other than that this is uh, pretty good like I said price wise great quality wise amazing um, I do highly recommend this and if you stay tuned in the next part of this video, I'm going to be showcasing a little bit of the playing with the video. One thing that I did want to show on the YC61 to get the pedal board to interact correctly with your YC61, always make sure, of course, you have your MIDI in. Uh, your MIDI in cable needs to be your MIDI cable needs to be connected to the MIDI in input of the pedal board, and then connect that to the MIDI out uh, input of the YC61. But to fully get well, the the pedal board to work to play your bass notes, what I do is go to uh, settings. Then I go to external keyboard, which is where the um, pedal board is going to be used mostly. And then go to organ and set that to second manual lower. I have this set on the lower manual. Um, you can alternate this uh, however you want to. It doesn't really matter. But I just have to set to the low manual so that way I can play the bass in my, uh, on my foot. And I play the keys with the upper manual. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comment section below. I put a link in the description for the Yamaha YC61, the pedal board, and the case that I actually ordered to go with the pedal board. Um, the, case, the link to the pedal board and the case are not affiliate links. However, the link to the Yamaha YC61 is an affiliate link. But if you're already looking to get one, definitely click that link and support what I'm doing here on the channel. Thanks again for watching guys. Also, if you want to support um, the brand go to ismaestro.com grab you some merch or go to my bandcamp ismaestro.bandcamp.com and actually directly support any music release that I have available thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video peace